This morning we're on our way back to my favorite sitting spot up in the woods where I go. And I wanted to start videoing early because we have a visitor this morning. We have the moon. If you can still see it. Oh no, it's behind the clouds already. Well, fiddlesticks. You could see the moon just a second ago, but the clouds floated in front of it. Well, fiddle diddle. Oh well. Well, at least you still get to see the pretty foggy morning. We had a huge rain here last night. So it is extremely foggy today. Look what a beautiful morning. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Now that we've had a gander, let's walk up into the woods together. Okay. All right. I like this little goat trail up into this unused piece of land with this old forest on it. It's fun. Oh, it's nice. Before the sun comes in this morning, look at it. It's nice and dark in here. I don't think it's ever been this overcast and this dark in the morning when I've done a video. This is going to be fun. We can probably, we can probably watch the sun come up in here as it gets brighter during the day. But I don't think we're going to stay that long. I didn't have a lot to say. I just was really inspired by a lot of the things I've been listening to and seeing on the internet the last couple of days. Mm. Yeah, let's go this way. Yeah, here we go. This is a nice little clearing here in the woods where we can stand. Oh, it's awful dark. Ooh, it's kind of spooky in here this morning. <laughs> I can barely see where I'm going. Well, I think that the phone can still pick me up okay, so I'm going to keep recording. Um, anyway, as many of you know, I've been taking care of a couple of people that are important to me, and that's one of the reasons I've only been making the, uh, the morning walk videos lately, is I uh, have to get up early and help take care of a couple of people that have health problems. And uh, one of them has uh, pretty bad cancer, and we have to take her to the hospital and get to, to get chemo and other stuff at the on oncologist a lot. So that's not fun, but I do it, and I still can't find reliable work. I just pick up stuff here and there randomly. So money's been really tight the last couple of months, too. With This area hasn't been crazy with the corona lockdown, but it's the spillover of everywhere else being locked down that's been really hurting business. So, especially living in a rural area like this, it's it, work is kind of slim pickings unless you have something sort of permanent set up with people. And uh, I, I do, I do uh, in-home care and I do uh, professional transport driving. And both of those have been really slim pickings the last few months for contracts. So, it's been uh, kind of rough. So, anyway, I don't want to complain too much. I just wanted to let you guys know kind of why I haven't been doing my more long-form content lately. I do have a video almost done, and it's on the Bitem plan, but it's been hard trying to find time to edit it and get it all put together because those take like 12 or 13 hours of work even after you're done uh, to put them all together. But I promise you it's coming eventually. It's, uh, it's in the pipe already, so to speak. Anyway, I think the sun came up a little bit. It's starting to get a little, a little bright through the trees back this way. And that way is where the sun comes up. That's where it's brightest over there. Anyway, I don't have any particular message this morning. I'm just happy. I'm happy because I'm starting to see and hear our lingo. Anti-white, going free, breaking free of things, talking about the narrative that is pushing the lies of anti-whiteism and using white guilt against people. I'm starting to see that crop up more, especially in uh, right-leaning outlets like Washington Examiner, Fox News uh, opinion pieces. So I, I think that we're, uh, what we're doing is working and it makes me happy. So that's a little uplifting even though what I have to deal with in my uh, daily life is uh, not so pleasant. Anyway, thank you all for joining me on this wonderful, beautiful, foggy early morning here in the Smoky Mountains. 
And uh, keep heart, keep pushing our ideas, keep faith, because I think that we're going to beat this. I think that we're going to come out on the other side uh, stronger than we were. So with that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful week. Goodbye and God bless.